it was exactly, I think, seven years ago, in this very room, if I remember correctly, uh, we had a meeting very similar to this. Back then, seven years ago, I was here introducing to you the newborn state of Telangana. But today, seven years later, I've come back, and I would like to introduce to you, to you uh, the triumphant state of Telangana. In fact, in the... Since I'm in Bay Area, I think it would uh, be appropriate to say, you know, 15th of uh, August this year, we, India would be turning 75. And 75, obviously, as you all know, is a momentous occasion in the history of um, an individual or an organization or a nation. If you ask me, why do I call my state triumphant Telangana? It is because in the last 75 years after independence, I believe, since I'm in Bay Area, I believe that my state, Telangana, is the most successful startup of independent India. And this, again, I'm not merely making a statement for the sake of making one. I will back it up with data. I'll back it up with statistics. Why am I claiming that uh, in 75 years of India, there has not been a more successful state than Telangana? The reason why I say that is because of three or four simple statistics that I'll present to you, and then you can decide for yourself. In 2014, when the new state of Telangana came into being, when the new state was formed, many of you in this room also had several apprehensions, several you know, uh, doubts in your mind as to what would happen, how things would pan out, how the state would uh, you know, kind of decide its priorities, how it would go about executing its vision, does the political leadership have the ability to actually administer a newly formed state, and what will happen to the diverse population that there is in Hyderabad? What would happen to the cultural fabric, the cosmopolitanness? What would happen to industry? What would happen to IT? Number of questions, you know, wherever I went, wherever, whoever I met, all these questions were asked. But today, I will juxtapose the facts of 2014 versus 2022. In 2014, when Telangana State was formed, our per capita income was about 1,24,000 rupees. And today, seven years later, seven and a half years later, the per capita income has risen by a whopping 130% to 2,78,000 rupees. This is a matter of, uh, in, a ma in a span of seven years. In a span of seven years, Telangana's GSDP, the Gross State Domestic Product, it was 4.9 lakh crore rupees back in 2014. Today, seven years later, it is 11.54 lakh crores of rupees, a whopping 130% increase. Now, for those of you who do not understand what this means, or how this translates into how well Telangana is doing, let me point out. India has 28 states. India lo irawayanimdrashtra lo out of these 28 states, Telangana is the 11th largest state geographically. Baugolikanga, Telangana, Padukonda, Vathipeda, Rashtram. In terms of population, we're the 12th largest state in India among the 28 states. But according to Reserve Bank of India, Telangana today has emerged as the fourth largest contributor to India's economic growth. It has become has become a powerful economic engine that supports the backward states in India, elsewhere in the country, and it continues to grow at a breakneck speed. In fact, just to put, a, put out another statistic so that you understand better, Telangana's population, if you look at it, it's only 2.5% of the total Indian population. But our contribution to India's GDP is 5%, 5% which goes to show you that Telangana continues to punch above its weight, continues to contribute to the nation, continues to grow as a state. In fact, let me also put things in perspective for you. All of this happened. 14% CAGR, compounded annual growth rate, over the last seven years, has happened despite the nation, despite the pandemic last two years, and despite not much support from government of India. Had we received, had we had normalcy, had we had normal conditions, I would like to believe that we would have grown even further, we would have achieved even more. So how did this happen? How did this 
startup become so successful how did it become a unicorn how did it become what it has become you know synonymous with progress on industrial front synonymous with progress on agriculture synonymous with uh, you know welfare synonymous with development how did this happen our honorable chief minister of telangana shri k c r garu is a man who comes from the grassroots he is a man who believes that before you talk big before you talk of the coolest things that are out there in bay area and elsewhere before you talk about semiconductor fabs before you talk about electric vehicles and all the new things that are happening before you talk about web 3 before you talk about anything else he has told us on day 1 that we as a country we as a state need to ensure that the fundamental needs of the people are met with so what did we do we said let's get the basics right what do the people of telangana want when we started our journey we were languishing in, on the power front on the electricity front we had frequent power outages industry was suffering 3 days of power outages domestic sector in fact each and every house was being you know uh, uh, subjected to about 6 hours of power cut and of course agriculture sector was in a huge distress 3 days of power holidays for industry and agriculture sector never received continuous supply of even 6 hours of power during the day time that was the situation on the power front the total installed capacity of power in the state of telangana was about 7000 plus megawatts whereas the demand was more than 9000 megawatts so we were reeling under a serious serious power crisis when the journey of telangana began within a span of 6 months honorable cm has been able to solve this major problem which could not be solved in the previous 65 years But for those of you who are wondering how did he do that do this did he have a magic wand no he just had a steely resolve he was determined to change the course of our electricity situation what he had done was he went for short term power purchases he ensured that our existing plants the thermal power generation plants operated at a higher plf higher plant load factor he also ensured that we actually india is a sunshine country we all know that we almost have sun for uh, 300 days a year so he decided that we'll harbor uh, harvest as much solar energy as possible so today as a result what has happened over the last um, you know seven and a half years is our installed power capacity has risen has increased from 7000 odd megawatts to 16000 plus megawatts we have more than doubled our installed power capacity and for those of you for those of you who use electric vehicles for those of you who use hybrid cars let me also point out we are a very environmentally conscious state so our installed solar capacity increased from about 40 megawatts to today about 5000 plus megawatts so our 15% of our power in fact comes from renewable sources so that's the commitment of telangana and that's how we've been able to take care of our power sector today happy to share with you 24 hours of free power is given to our farmers and uninterrupted quality power supply is given to our industries and no scheduled power outages for the domestic sector very few states in india can claim that the second thing i'll point out what are the other basic needs of people you know we've you know i i was raised in different parts of telangana but you know my uh, high school was in hyderabad i used to commute from my home in irramanzil colony which is next to khairatabad and uh, go all the way to grammar school which is abit which is in abits hyderabad any st georgians here ek hai kya yaar so i used to travel in a rtc bus you know it was uh, bus number was 135 it used to go from khairatabad you know anand nagar colony to venkatramna colony to khairatabad to lakdi ka pool to Hyder- uh, abits every summer around this time march you know i actually uh, I, i'll narrate a story to you every summer when my bus used to pass through that khairatabad area there you, there used to be a huge traffic jam you peep out and see what's going on you could see that there are women and political leaders protesting on the ground uh you know right in front of that uh, hyderabad metro water supply and sewerage board office thousands hundreds of women demanding water pani chahiye 14 din mein pani nahi milta 7 din mein pani nahi milta that was the situation today happy to share with you proud to share with you in 75 years of indian independence no single state no single leader has done 
what KCR Garu has done for Telangana. Every single household in Telangana today has a portable drinking water connection. We are a state, we are the only state which has provided 100% portable drinking water connection. And this is not me saying it. This is the Government of India's report, the Jal Jeevan Shakti Ministry, I think Jal Jeevan Mission Ministry, which basically declared on the floor of the House in Parliament that Telangana is the only state which has been able to accomplish this feat. How did we do it? We spent $7 billion, nearly $7 billion, nearly 40 plus crores of rupees. We connected each and every home. We laid nearly 100,000 kilometers of pipeline, which is literally, I think, three times the circumference of Earth. That's the vision.